100x, something that we all want to see in the space, right? We all love our altcoins and we all want to see 100x projects. And well, I think this might just be one. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new, subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, it's completely free. Check it out. Linked in the description below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free. And like I said, I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. Let's let's jump into this video, right? So what we're talking about here is Findora's FRA. Now, Findora is a protocol um, that is basically all around privacy, but it has got some interesting elements to it. Now, when it comes to privacy-based projects, historically speaking, I've not been a big fan. I've actually been kind of keeping my distance from privacy-based projects, mainly because I think this is something that is going to be a regulatory problem in the future. However, there are certain projects that are building um, privacy-based ecosystems that actually are more regulatory friendly. These are things like Zcash, for example, uh, Midnight that's yet to launch but is going to be on the Cardano ecosystem, and Findora here. Now, when I say regulatory friendly, what do I mean? Well, I mean that some protocols that I think are going to survive in the future when it comes to privacy are the ones that are going to allow third party authorization uh, or more specifically, if I can kind of get my words together, a place uh, where a user can authorize a third party access to their data. This is quite critical in, when it comes to the blockchain technology space because you, everything's kind of open, everything's on the chain and you can kind of see what everyone's up to and all that kind of stuff, which is great for transparency. But when it comes to more private matters like medical records, that's not necessarily something that you're going to want to see uh, out on the public domain. And so privacy-based projects are really key to kind of keep some of that information more private yet that information that is private to yourself you might want to disclose with your doctor for example so a privacy ba privacy based project that allows you to authorize certain individuals or groups or organizations to access your data is quite key and something that i think is probably more aligned to where i think the future is going so when we start thinking about privacy based projects there's some that are very closed which i think will be blacklisted and basically will will kind of block down or lock down or kind of delete accounts of um, people that are using those projects because, you know, essentially governments are going to want to KYC. They're going to want to know um, what you're up to. They want to make sure that money laundering isn't happening, making sure that you're not doing anything illegal and all those kind of things. Right. So um, a lot of the projects that are you know, what we kind of think of as a proper privacy based projects, Monero is one, for example, um, where you know, you, you're completely kind of um, anonymous on the chain, I think are going to have a problem in the future. And that's unfortunate. It's not what we want, but I think it's an inevitability of the growth of this space. So it's one of those. It's not necessarily that we want to see that happen, but I think it's going to happen. And that is a different argument altogether. Of course, you can try to fight it and you can kind of try to rebel and all those kind of things. But I think what we're talking about here is an inevitability in terms of the evolution of this particular space. If we want to see it truly utilized and to go mainstream, then we're going to have to see some KYC elements and we're going to see privacy-based projects that allow governments to look in. Now, that's where Findora kind of sits. They're building a protocol that will allow... Um, third party access uh, under your authorization. And I think this is going to be a winning recipe in the future. And as such, potentially 100x. Now that's a bit of a long intro there. So I apologize, maybe you're skipping ahead of that. Um, but let's talk about why I think, you know, 100x is possible. Not only do we think it's something that's going to be needed in the future, but it's also at a really, really, really cheap level at the moment. So as you can kind of see on this chart, we've been consolidating down quite nicely. We had the bear market low down in July of 2022. It was 0.000889. Phenomenally cheap, right? Very, very cheap. Now, considering the supply is not like a meme coin supply, the price action has been very, very good so far. Now, we saw very significant growth in this right out of the bat, right? The second that we started to see 
um, some migrations from the Harmony ecosystem in terms of validators and staffing and and a migration of those individuals to look to build out Fendora, we saw growth of around 1,000 283% very, very quickly. We did see a nice cooling off period. This is kind of where we're then saying, okay, let's buy into this one uh, as it kind of retraces. Um, so we did see a 90% drop. It's incredibly volatile. This is not a dead project. It's something that we need to consider is so cheap um, and has so little liquidity. You see big spikes in the market, big movements uh, very, very rapidly. This is definitely not for the faint hearted. We, when we had this low, we then saw growth again of another 532 percent we then have another drop in the market from february 2023 down to the recent low in may of 2023 a 73 percent drop and we're starting to see a bit of a growth back again now ultimately here we can see that there is good growth up here where it started off at 27 cent we are one fifth uh actually it's a little bit less than that i'd say one third of a cent right now um so we are very very cheap still even to go back to its previous all-time high we would see growth of around nine thousand percent do i think this is 100x potential yes uh, i do think there's 100x potential from the lower side down here when we were uh, basically down at the 0 0.0008889 uh, we would see if we go up back to all-time high about 30,000 percent in gains essentially for 100x we were talking about going to about 8.8 .8 cent at that point right and um, so depending on where you get into this i think there's going to be very significant growth regardless don't get me wrong it's not going to be an easy ride because this is a micro cap coin with liquidity that is really small and uh, we're going to see a lot of volatility both to the upside and to the downside. So it's going to be a rough ride, I think, for a while. But I think the future is definitely there. Like I said, the use case is something that I think is going to be required uh, for the future of this, this space as a whole, as the crypto space as a whole. And Findora is basically their solution for the um, Ethereum ecosystem. In the same way that you see um, Midnight will be the solution for the Cardano ecosystem. So I think that Vindora is very well placed for a 100x potential in the future. Now, because it is a proof of stake ecosystem, you can delegate your FRA tokens into a pool. We've got one. We've got a validator pool uh, we're earning a, at the point of recording 18% uh, annually. So you could accumulate massive amounts whilst the price is nice and cheap get it delegated to the pool and you'll earn even more FRA over time as well. So obviously we have no idea as to kind of how long it's going to take before this thing moves up quite rapidly uh, as adoption starts to grow. But I think essentially the recipe is there. We can see the fantastic use case that is going to be, at least in my opinion, required in the future. We see that it's value is right there it's undervalued in, in the sense of where i believe it is and i think the future potential here is quite significant so we combine all those things we have a staking mechanism that allows us to earn even more to protect and hedge against any further downside so we can continue to earn more fra tokens as price potentially continues to pull back in this bearish market um, but for the most part this particular protocol and this particular ecosystem i think has a very bright future ahead of it and 100x it isn't actually that difficult to see. We talk about 29 cent. It's a brand new all-time high, but it's barely even breaking above that level as well. So I do think that FRA has the potential to do a 100x in the future. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Have you heard of this protocol before? Are you invested in FRA? Is it just too risky for you? Or are you thinking this actually might be a really good place to start building a position? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As I kind of wrap this video up, if you found it useful and informative, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And don't forget, guys, join us down in the Discord server. Link is in the description below. Until the next one, though, guys, have a fantastic day. We are not financial advisors, and none of what we have communicated earlier or in writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers, and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to risk your entire investment. This video is an information and entertainment purposes only. All videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies, and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.